Welcome back Coding Ninjas. Today we will see how we can create our own flip the card game using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This is a simple memory game. We need only 4 lines of code in the body. The main part is going to be our JavaScript which will handle all the logic. First let me do the initial styling. I am going to style all the things which I used in the body. Now let's move to JavaScript. I am using the script tag. First I am going to initialize variables and references to key elements in the HTML. Game area is the main container for the cards. Lives display displays the number of lives remaining. Game over display is the container for the game over message. Win message is the container for the win message. Lives left will track how many lives the player has left, starting at 10. First card and second card will be used to store references to the cards that the player flips. And lock board is a flag to prevent further flips, until the current check for a match is resolved. Card symbols is an array of unique emojis that will be used for the cards. You can search for emojis on Google and copy whichever you want. Card values creates a new array by duplicating card symbols to form pairs for the game. I want to shuffle the card values array randomly to ensure a different layout for each game. Now I am writing a function which will generate the card elements and add them to the game area. This function will handle the logic for flipping cards when they are clicked. If the board is locked, exit the function, preventing further flips until the current turn is resolved. I want to prevent the player from flipping the same card twice. I am storing references to the cards which are flipped and then I will call a function to check for matches. Here I will compare the symbols of the first and second cards using their data symbol attributes. If the cards match, it calls disable cards, otherwise it calls and flip cards to flip the cards back. It will disable the matched cards and check if the game is completed. This function will inflip the cards if they do not match and manage the player's lives.
This function resets the game state for the next turn. Finally, this function manages the end of the game based on the outcome. This will now initialize the game by creating the cards when the page loads. I think I made some mistake, let me correct it. Okay, now it's visible. We should style our heading too. Alright, that's all. We have made our game. Congratulations to all of you who are still here and finished their code. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, it means a lot.